Decades since a fire cleanup in Quincy turned into a murder investigation. But still, all these years later, and police have not made any arrests in connection with Nancy Streetmotter's death. Tonight, we are digging deeper into this unsolved crime to see if you can help solve it. Nowadays, semi-trucks passing by is about the only activity you'll see in front of 219 Oak Street. But more than 10 years ago, there was a flurry of fire trucks. Firefighters responded to salvage lumber around 8.30 p.m. on October 7th. Doing routine investigation. It would turn out to be anything but a routine investigation. They start doing what's called a dig out. The next day, on October 8th, around 11 a.m., firefighters found something they didn't expect. Human remains. It reported to me that the remains had been located in the north side of the structure in an area that appeared to be a storage room. It took until October 10th to identify them. X-ray and dental records confirmed it was 48-year-old Nancy Streetmotter. Subdermal hematoma to the to the head. Okay, so a, a blow, a bludgeon to the head. Then, okay, um, several or just one or uh, do you know? Just that it was all that was listed was okay. subdermal subdermal hematoma to the head. Bludgeoned and burned all at the same building. They think she was killed there, and then the fire was started there. Um, that's the, my understanding. Did you ever suspect the owner of Selby no. Lumber? Okay. No, absolutely not. So who did Quincy police suspect? Lieutenant Kathy Schistler did not work on the case at the time, but has since become familiar with it as part of the detective division. There were some past history with the um, drug task force and um, drug use in her past. Um, so sometimes she was around some unsavory characters. Um, she was estranged from a spouse. Uh, she had a, uh, a boyfriend that she was with at the time, you know, she was, it's, it, there was any number of possibilities. Adams County State's Attorney Gary Farha says detectives have narrowed those possibilities down to one. Can you reveal anything about this person's identity? No. Okay. Because he still is just a suspect. What both Schistler and Farha suspect, though, is Streetmotter's death had nothing to do with her involvement with police. We would look at it from more of a personal side of things than the informant part. Okay, and w and why is that? Just w considering who our main suspect is at this time. I will say this, people that are on drugs, back then particularly, uh, were very, very suspicious of one another, and they're on drugs and they get highly suspicious and, and maybe they think something means something else, and it really didn't. No matter the motive, they say it's time for a conviction. It's frustrating because you know the family wants closure. We want the uh, suspect and hopefully potential arrestee to you know, pay for their crimes. You know, we don't want these people just out there willy-nilly maybe doing this again sometime. WGEM News reached out to Street Matter's son and other family members to get to know more about her, but never heard back. Yes. Farha knew her though. Nancy was a good person. She had family. Uh, she did not deserve to die whatever the reason was and you know it's kind of a very unglamorous way to to leave this world outside 219 oak street where she left this world more than 10 years ago a promise was made we'll continue to work hand in hand with both the fire marshal and the fire department investigators to uh, determine what did happen it's a commitment held on to to this day we hope that it just eats at them sometimes and to the point where they need to get this off their chest and and come in and cooperate with us. If you know anything about Nancy Street Motter's murder, call Quincy Crime Stoppers at 217-228-4474.